Spongers, druggies, alcohol, scum. Lazy, lay on their bed all day, get a job. Some of the comments and names made about homeless people. I have 12 years experience working with homeless people. With a background in counselling and community development, I've worked many roles in our hostel. And the one thing that I've learned is that homelessness is seldom caused by one single issue. So how does a person end up in a homeless hostel? Well, for many different reasons. A mental health problem, a relationship breakup, an addiction issue, or they've lost their job and then they're home. Sometimes a client will present with us with one of those issues. Sometimes they'll present with all three. At Hosford, we use the what do you think approach, which is an approach where we consider everyone's opinion. And when I first learned this approach, I felt valued, I felt my confidence increased, and it brought out my creative side. Armed with this new way of thinking, I went to a meeting in the Greater Belfast area. And we were discussing the future of homelessness. And I thought I would share our vision for homelessness, the what do you think approach. I was, I thought, bold and brilliant. Big mistake. They'd never heard of the what do you think approach. And the vision that I shared was that we could create a community garden and learn new skills. We could start five-a-side football matches between each hostel. We could put on art workshops and maybe progress to an art exhibition. I thought I would have got a positive response, but instead I was laughed at, I was told I was bonkers, and I left the room feeling belittled. We decided as a team that we would take the what do you think approach and create a practical model of working with our clients. So what does that look like? Well, it's where people would turn up, homeless clients turn up, to our groups, and instead of closing the door in their face, we welcome them to stay. We monitor their behavior, and we offer a hot meal and the chance to engage socially with others. Now, this approach didn't work for all of our clients, but it did work for many. And with our support, our clients learned to become bold and brilliant. Over the last 12 years, we didn't create one community garden. We've created 10 community gardens with three wildflower alleys transforming our community. We started Street Soccer and I, and we've been to the Homeless World Cup seven times. Our, our players, both men and women, have gained passports to represent Northern Ireland. Our players, 76 of them, have benefited directly from a six-month program of coaching, support into housing, and getting back to work. For all of this, we have won numerous awards. And we are currently ready to launch our new health and wellbeing hub on the Newton Arch Road with a drop-in centre and a connecting community garden. One of the clients who worked along with us in the garden, a lady called Suzanne, was having tenancy support to prevent her from becoming homeless. She was receiving counselling on site and support for her alcohol addiction. Suzanne has maintained her tenancy. She will always struggle with alcohol, 
but the more that she has in her life, we reduce those episodes. Thankfully, the thinking in our sector has changed, and there are many hostels doing great work all over Belfast. But Hosford are leading the way with homelessness prevention. We are innovative, we're driven, we're highly skilled, and we are passionate about supporting people as they change their lives. Our mantra at Hosford is homeless, not hopeless. And I'd like to ask you all tonight, could you use our approach with your staff, with your clients? Could you be bold and brilliant and create incredible things with ordinary people? What do you think? Thank you.